a heartbreaking end in a mystery that's made headlines for weeks. It's believed that the body of Gabby Petito was found in Wyoming yesterday. The 22-year-old disappeared while on a cross-country road trip with her fiancé, Brian Laundrie, who is now considered a person of interest, but he hasn't been seen since last Tuesday. Today, police searched his Florida home for evidence. 10 News reporter McKinley Struthers spoke to a mother here at home who knows all too well how these kinds of cases can affect families. Hello, hello, and good morning. It's a story that has grabbed the attention of millions nationwide. Gabby Petito never goes outside. A Florida woman vanishes seemingly without a trace. Her name tonight echoes in many communities. There are no winners. There just will be two broken families. And is sparking conversation in ours. And you know, you think there's so many faces. Jill Harrington is the founder of Help Save the Next Girl, an organization dedicated to serving missing persons and their family. She is also the mother of Morgan Harrington, a Virginia Tech student who was missing for months. It was later discovered she was murdered. Missing is tough because for the families, they're straddling uh, the great divide. They're trying to maintain hope, and at the same time, they're bracing for the most devastating news. Generally speaking, on any given day, there's about 650 people missing in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and about half of them will be children. Mark Eggerman works with the State Department of Emergency Management. As of September 1st, he reports there are 352 open cases of missing children in our state. Data for missing adults is even harder to come by. People, particularly adults, have the right to be missing and to be unaccounted for. You think it won't be you, but if it is, here's what you can do. Call law enforcement. Ask every question you have. No question is a dumb question because it could be the clue investigators need. Avoid tampering with the missing person's personal items and start a log or a journal to document that process. Harrington and the state's Department of Criminal Justice Services provides more guidance. You can find that on WSLS.com. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.